slow rain is where the preacher lost back in years takes his time and it don't try to go beyond his measure but he just brings it with slow real slow rain man of God read the chapters for me earlier and I'm going to come out of the book of Genesis chapter 13 beginning at verse 1 through 4 and then I'm going to do some slow raining up in here and Abraham went out of Egypt he and his wife and all that he had and lot with him into the south and Abraham was very rich in cattle and silver and in gold Verse 3. And he went on his journey from the south Bethel. Somebody say Bethel. Unto the place where his tent had been at the beginning. Bethel was where his tent had been in his beginning. But I want y'all to get this next play. Unto the place of the altar which the Lord had made there at the first. And there Abraham called on the name of God. But at the end of verse 3, preachers, it said that boy at the beginning was between Bethel and Ai. Now everybody with their salt knows that Bethel means the house of God. And Ai means a place of ruin. In case you've been wondering where I've been, I started here in Bethel. The house of God. And I joined it through AI. I joined it through places of ruin. I wasn't always living right. Wasn't always holy. Wasn't always right. But God in his wisdom. Help me slow rain. God in his wisdom. Touch my life right here. Touch my life right here. Got caught up with drugs. But God remembered it was at the house of Bethel. It's where he caught me right here. How many of y'all have ever found yourself dwelling in the place of AI? Just a place of ruin. I, that thing, sister, uh, uh, Trey, I don't want you to know that I've been to. Too shame to talk about it. But I want you to know that I came back today to let y'all know that I'm in the house of Bethel. I have not forgotten where I came from. God has been good. Are you hearing me? No matter how far off you get from God, no matter how far off you get from the way, don't you never forget where God brought you from. I used to live with Connie right over in that area over there. And I'd look across the graveyard and look across the church. But well, then, this brother, pardon me, you know what I'm saying. Bishop, I will be times. Mama Nita would say, You're going to church. And you better not get well to no trouble. Because if you tell me you're giving me trouble, you're going to be in trouble two or three times more. But, Bishop, I've been through AI, I've been through the place of ruin. And I haven't forgot where I came from. When I came here, I was not looking for anything different. I wasn't trying to see what y'all did with the building, and I appreciate it. I wasn't coming here to see, glory be to God, how, who got this, who got that. I don't care what kind of car you ride in, because at the end of the day, they do ride us all in one mobile. But what I want to say to you is that I thank God. They're going through the place of ruin, going through the place of trouble, going through the place of hardship. I still had you on my mind. And God hadn't forgot those Sunday school classes, Brother Weldon. God hadn't forgot. Uh, Miss Cleo hadn't forgot your mama, a man who used to get on me. Hadn't forgot the family. You people of God, I've never forgotten you. I stand. I stand here today. I'm blessed. I'm going to say this to all you young preachers. Y'all are going to do some powerful things for God. You're going to see things that I prophetically have never seen. God's going to use you. But I want to tell you something. Don't forget 
all of us are between two places the house of God and the house of ruin be very careful that you forget just because you start to feel your cherries just before you start to feel good please don't forget where you come from you see I have not forgotten where I came from man I remember Pepsi I remember them old saints will sing that song. There is a fountain filled with blood uh, drawn straight from Emmanuel's veins. Uh, when sinners plunge uh, beneath that flood, they lose all their gifts of saints. I got saved under that. And I never forgot you. Yeah, we've been around. We've done a couple TV shows. We flew over a few nations. We preached to thousands. But at the end of the day, here I stand with you, Ivory. Somebody said to me, what shall I call you? Tell them Ivory's just fine. I had that before all the titles. I had that before all the names. Over here, over here is my Aunt Murbell and my Uncle Hubbard. Over here is my, my auntie that was my mama. I was telling Miss Cleo, y'all bear with me, it's okay. I came here for a reason. I didn't come here to hoop it up. I come here to celebrate you. I come here to celebrate this church. I come here to celebrate how that y'all had touched my life. And no matter how well known I became, I never forgot you. I was saying how that as I look at my life and God has been good, I want to say to you, thank you. Now you would wonder, I ain't got no long message. I want to say to this church, sitting on this corner, you, you, and sometimes you never know what you got in you. Y'all sent me around the world. Y'all sent me to preach to many nations. Y'all sent me to become well known. And, all, and it represents the faith that I learned here. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, could you bow your heads? Father, in the name of Jesus, in this special day, musicians just follow me and flow with me. Flow with me real sweet. Lord God, I thank you for this church. I thank you for these people. Now God, you brought us through a pandemic. You brought us through hard situations. And some of my friends are going on home with you. Lord, I miss Vincent. And I miss others that have gone on with the Lord. I was thinking about Mickey's mama just about a couple weeks ago and the Lord done blessed her to go home with him I never forgot y'all I never forgot you you've been dear to my heart Miss Cleo you'll never know what a blessing it was that you asked me to come now I asked the father to touch the bodies of these people that are here today many that have family that are sick Sick in their body, wounded in their soul. Father, let your anointing and your grace heal them. Lord God, I pray in the name of Jesus. Lord God, that in the heat of this moment, while we reflect on the fact that this house had a deposit that went to the world, God, I ask you in Jesus' name to bless this precious pastor. Man of God, I pray in those moments sometime where you wonder whether you've done the right thing, when you wonder whether you've made the right decisions, I want you to remember an old preacher that's been in ministry now over 45 years. You'll be all right, son. All you got to do is keep your hands in his. All you got to do is keep your eyes on him. All you got to do is know that your labor is not in vain. Bishop Weldon, did you believe that kid that gave you all them headaches that sat in that Sunday school would one day preach and tell you it was the ministry that you gave that launched me? Some people get to a place that forget where they come from. You hear me? They get out there and they don't remember. You read their history and you wonder who they're talking about. What I want to tell you, thank you. Stand to your feet. Please, everyone, stand to your feet. I ask the Lord 
to bless all of these people that are here. And I thank God. If there's any individual that wants to give their life to the Lord, right where you're at, ask them to come into your life. And I want you all to remember, you're between Bethel and Ai, a ruin. Our lives tend to be between the house of God and a place of waste. Let God bring you back home. Thank y'all for blessing me. God bless you. That's it. I'm done. I came to deposit. Thank you. Just a deposit.